One of my favorite things ever is when someone comes up with a solution to a very common problem. This is that. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. And Lillian's taking a nap and Popeye's swapping the poop decks for the RC sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Guys, today we're gonna take a look at this monitor. This is basically a screen for your DJI drones. Now, it is expensive, not gonna lie. I actually wouldn't own one if it wasn't for an amazingly awesome patron family member of ours, a good friend that has hooked us up with this along with the drone we're gonna fly today. So I consider myself very lucky to be able to show this to you. Now what I'm excited about is the fact that this works on my new Mavic 2, Mavic Pro 2, and it can work on my old Mavic and my Spark and other DJI drones. So this is not a life problem, but a hobby problem and a very common one at that. Now our most traditional way to fly a drone is to connect your phone to a controller that looks a lot like this. And if you've ever done that before, you know as well as I do, that if you don't have some kind of shade, even if it's your own, trying to hide in your own shadow, it's very hard to see that screen. So they came up with the solution of goggles and other various things, but I think this is probably one of the best solutions to hit the market to date. Basically, this is a large, bright monitor that has a nice big battery life that's gonna outperform your phone, save your phone battery, which ultimately saves the longevity of your phone's performance. I am really in love with this monitor and I've only used it a handful of times. This is not an in-depth review to show you everything that the monitor is capable of doing, but rather to show you an average user's experience as to why you might want to pick one of these up if your budget allows for it. So, this is the setup that we have, again given to us by a good friend, thank you very much. Uh, we have a nice bracket here that has a USB type C that this will plug into with that adapter on the bottom that's made specifically for that bracket. So we place this in here and then we're gonna go fly the drone a bit and have some fun. That seats in nice and snug and then this locks in very tight. Now it's a very strong unit. You can hold the whole thing by the monitor. I don't highly recommend it. Or you can hold it by the transmitter controller like you're supposed to. And this is in here so well, even probably better than most phones fit in here because it was designed to fit perfectly. You can adjust uh, and loosen that. But th this is the bracket. What we're really gonna focus on today is the monitor. Once we turn this puppy on, it is so easy to see. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am glistening in the hot, bright yeah. sun of today. It feels like my feet are burning and we my have, legs. And we have no shade. And so I want you guys to see. Uh, we're gonna try our best to use the camera to shoot the monitor uh, because I want you guys to actually see how this performs. If you've watched our channel in the past, you'll know that when we try to shoot a phone, you really can't see anything but a glare. So uh, there are apps you can download onto this to do a screen recording, but that kind of defeats the purpose. If you've ever flown with a phone for your drone, this functions exactly the same. Let's put the drone in the air and have some fun. So, uh, it is going to be a little difficult to actually record using a camera because uh, of the glare. Yes, that's right. But me in real life here, I can see everything really, 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 really well. Uh, and that's kind of the point of this video. Um, here in the bright, bright sun, I'm even not, e I'm not even using my own shade to record. And uh, I can see exactly what's going on. You know, sometimes you just kind of have to take my word for it because video just doesn't do it much justice and know that this is one of the best accessories money can buy for your drones. Look at that barge though, isn't that oh, cool? It's so cool, I'm trying not to get too close or anything. I told Nathan before we filmed this video we needed a good location and we thought the riverfront would be perfect. Yeah, we never fly down here. And I know drones record these guys all the time. They're probably like sick of drones chasing them around. Obviously we're not going to get close or anything and still maintaining line of sight, but how cool is this you guys? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I just wanted you guys to know that the functionality of this screen 
is amazing. amazing. The value for it is absolutely worth it, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is just worth every penny. And if I would have known this before I actually had my hands on the controller, you know, before I saw it here in person, I would have picked one of these up for myself if I knew the true value. It's so hot and bright out, I'm having to rotate my feet just to get them out of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I am cooking. So what do you think of your new Mavic 2? Oh, I'm, I'm in love. I'm truly in love. I don't want to fly directly over him, so we'll just get around like this. So what's the battery life on this right now? Uh, on... The battery life on the monitor, we started off at 91%. Is that what that one is right there? That's our drone battery. Okay, where's this battery? It doesn't display oh, okay. until you get out of the app. And that's, oh, okay. Yeah, or if it goes low. I wanted to get on the other side for the sun to have a better shot. Hopefully everything's nice and in focus. I still have to set my autofocus. I just wanted to show you guys that I can totally see this. Now while Abby maintains line of sight on the drone, I want to show you that I'm in the very bright sun, there's no shade on this at all, and let's just fly it back to us. I'm going to rotate back here, there are the bridges, and let's go around that. That's a kind of a unique platform, I didn't know that was there. And while again Abby's maintaining line of sight, I can see our car. There we are in the parking lot. There's two little twigs above the car. And we're almost back because it's an amazing drone and fast. You are sweating. Look at his hat. <laughs> yeah, it's hot and very bright. But isn't this just the coolest? The fact that I'm able to see this. I really wish we had some type of tech to help you guys see how amazing this is. Uh, a lot of this is just a trust-based thing because we've done so much for you guys, you know you can trust us. And, and me telling you that this is just, a, it's just a game changer for us. Abby and I hate using our phones to record the drones. And, and here we are now with the ability to not do that. And, and you know, the goggles are great. DJI goggles are fine and dandy. But in a hot, hot, hot day like this, putting those goggles on is just a, just a sweat box. So, you know, that there are downsides to that. This, you can maintain your line of sight while flying, you know, uh, FPV as well, glancing up back and forth. Really just quite an awesome solution to a common drone problem. Well, show them the bridges, because that's like a staple of our area. Yeah. It's kind of like what Ashland is known for. Now, I don't want you guys to think I'm getting close to these bridges. We've actually witnessed some drones during fireworks and stuff getting right on top of these bridges, and I, I disagree with that. I don't think you should fly over people or anything, which is why we're over the water. Uh, but check that out. Isn't that awesome? And I'm able to just see this so perfectly. Normally, I wouldn't put myself into these conditions either, uh, where I'm standing in such hot, bright sunlight, but it's just kind of a testament to how good this monitor is. I wanted you to see its performance and the fact that I can't... I knew we'd struggle recording it for you guys, but I, I thought that if I could actually stand out here in the sun and you see how bright it truly is, you would realize, yeah, okay, wow, that is a good monitor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and like there's no latency, there's God. no static. That's right. It's wild, because even with a phone, you're at this distance, you're gonna get a little bit of latency. And you're so far away with my own eyes, it looks like you're over the highway, which I see on your screen, you're not even no, close no, no, to no, the not highway. Even close. Not even close, but how cool is that? You know, I've never even seen this perspective of the bridges with my own drone, just the fact that it's so crystal clear, such a reliable FPV signal is really cool. And we haven't even touched the all side collision detection at all. No, huh? Which is, when you think about it, unnecessary. You shouldn't need that, but if you're flying dangerously, it's a good safety it feature would to come have. In handy. Yeah. Good Us safety. personally, we don't need it. Oh, I'm just so impressed with this and I'm so thankful and grateful. I don't even want to fly over or under the bridges, but I'll get a little bit, just a little bit closer as a look underneath the bridge. We'll get the drone a little lower. Now, uh, if you're looking line of sight, boy, doesn't that look like the drone's just about to land on top of the bridge? But then as I continue down, I know I'm really far away from it. So I'm not even close at all. 
just line of sight can be so funny. Now there we go, it we're under the crazy. bridge. It is crazy. It looks like you're between both bridges it right does. now. I'll angle the camera all the way up. Look at that, we actually have some up angle on this drone. Check that out, look at that, look at my view. That's cool. Yeah. I feel I, like that's a first. That's how much up I have. Wow, yeah. we don't have any drones that and do that. Clearly I'm under the bridges, under them. So I want you guys to see, there's more of a level view, okay? And here we go, angling up. I didn't know we could do that. That Very is so cool. For something like I this. love Very that. Cool. So if you missed our first flight experience, I'd like to invite you guys to check that out for a full flight of this drone. Uh, we're not gonna do a ton with this like exclusively just because reviews have been pounded, pounded into the ground uh, over and over and over on YouTube. And I'm here to tell you that it's, that it's a great drone, an absolutely great drone. Um, uh, but of course it should be for the asking price that they are at. Well, this monitor is a must-have. If you're going to buy yourself an expensive DJI drone, this is an absolute must-have to go along with it. Save those pennies, set them aside. The tech is there and it performs Excellent. perfectly. There we go. And a nice that wide shot. That fly really fast. It is fast and that's not even in sport mode, I don't think. If it is in sport mode, then I'm just unaware. But yeah, it's pretty quick, isn't it? That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful shot of the bridges to end this on. Guys, if you've never been to Ashland, we'd love to invite you to come to our flying field if you're on your just passing through on vacation or something or want to make a special trip here and just check out our field this is a pretty spot to stop there's a little view of ashland itself a lot of food here that's aim down at us and <laughs> there we are we're behind the tree ah! right there yeah <laughs> they're doing some construction up here too well guys all the good stuff will be linked in the description box below thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next video bye